What's up everybody, happy new year. Today I have something exciting for you. It's brand new operating system for NEO. Uh, it's the first time in China we finally have English operating system. Uh, it's currently in a beta test. So what I'm gonna do is gonna take you through all of the menu, just in case you know, you're considering buying a NEO when they come to your country in the future. Uh, now we can actually see what it's gonna look like for people who aren't speaking Chinese. Um, not everything's in English. Nomi, for the most part, still doesn't speak English and doesn't listen to English. She doesn't understand English. But most of the menus and everything are in English. So today we're gonna go through everything. Let's just jump right into it. So it's already in English. So what I'm gonna do first is show you how to go back to change the language and how fast the language actually changes. So we go to general here and we scroll down. Interface language, English. We go to Chinese and now bam, it's already in Chinese as you can see. So we're gonna go back to English and we're gonna look at everything that we can do. Okay, so this is your main screen when you're driving. This has all the information you need. Your navigation will be here, but also in the heads up display and also in the dash instrument cluster. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is we'll slide from the left. And here you can see all of your main information that you use often. You can also customize it with different things that you personally prefer that you like to do. Um, so we're just gonna keep it as standard um, and we can see all the different things. So first thing you can do is you can lock your center console, that's here. Um, next thing you can do is your ambi ambient lighting. You can change the colors. First I gotta turn it on. So you can change the colors. It's not super bright here in the daytime. You might be able to see a little bit over here. I'm not sure if you can. Change it the color. It's a lot better at nighttime. Anyway, and you can also adjust the brightness of it. I'll turn it back off. And we will go back to the main. Whoops, and we'll go back to here. See what else we can do. Headlights are on auto. Your trunk gate, you can press that to open. 360 surround view, we're gonna go to that later. Whoops. Sound mode. So you can change the different types of sound. Right now it's all balanced, driver balance, driver surround, front surround, theater, background, and rear mute. Maybe you have kids or something back there. You don't want them to hear all the sound. Okay, child lock, child lock windows, passenger adjustment, so we can adjust the seat for the passenger. As you can see, the front passenger seat also has memory, so if you're with your girlfriend or your wife or your boyfriend or uh, not to be sexist, any, anybody who travels with you often, um, they can save their seat settings just like a driver would, which is great, but we don't do that for some reason. Why, not, why don't we do that? Myself. You can adjust it yourself, that's right. But it could save it for you. Uh, what else can we do? Steering wheel heating, so that's good for the winter, but we don't need that here in Shenzhen. Uh, this is auto parking, pedestrian warning sound. I always turn this off when I drive simply because it's really annoying. It's uh, under 30 kilometers, it makes like an electronic sound so pedestrians can hear. And also a quick video record, so if something uh, is coming up, you wanna record some video, make sure it saves, you can do that. Very similar to the, the Tesla. Uh, in Tesla, you can also click up on top, and I think on this one you can. If we click this button here, can you see it? Okay, if we click this button here, this brings up our different apps and different controls. So what we're gonna do now is go to settings and we're gonna go through everything. So here's my account. Um, you can set up a password for your vehicle, maybe for like a valet, you can do guest mode, that sort of thing, or if you want your friend to borrow the car, all that stuff. Anyway, we don't need to go through that. This is my EC6, so this is my car. We can see I've had the car for 261 days. The health status is perfect, but you can see the tire pressure, all that stuff. Current range, uh, any DC range is 159 kilometers left. However, if we go back out of this, we can see the actual real world estimated range is 111 kilometers remaining. So let's go back to the settings. Uh, we can see consumption. You can see the last 10 kilometers, we were doing 16 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. The last 100 kilometers, we were doing average of 20.5 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers of driving. 
So you can see uh, you can see in the battery level here the consumption of how much energy energy you use each month. Uh, month five, that was May, I guess. That was when we were driving around China, and a little bit of June. So that's when we use the most electricity, the most kilowatt hours. And then you can see daily doors and windows. Um, the left side is the slow charging point port. The right side is the DC charging port. And then also you have the trunk. You can do that there. You can close your windows, slightly open them just a little bit. You can open them more for ventilation. And you can also have them, again, customized for your favorite, how far down you want each window to be. Again, child protection locks. All that standard stuff is there for doors and windows. And of course, when you walk away or when you walk up, it'll lock or unlock. Okay, perfect. Lights, of course, again, we have ambient lighting. You can have the reading lights turned on when you unlock the vehicle. You have your different headlight settings. I don't know what Follow Me Home does. Follow Me Home, I have no idea what that is. I don't know if that's a new feature or if that was in the Chinese version of the app as well, uh, of the operating system. I don't know if it's new to this uh, beta test we're doing right now. I don't know what it does. I've got to figure that out. Okay, seat comfort. This is my one of my favorite parts of the car. Seat comfort. When I'm driving, I always put on my massage chair. Mild. You have tap. And then you have the rolling waves. That's the one I usually do. And also the passenger seat has it as well. I'm going to turn it off right now. You also have ventilation. Again, that's for hot days. Cools down, it cools down your seat. Hot days feels really good. Like we were just in Sanya, I used that. So when I was sweating, cool my back down. Passenger also has it. Oh, and we also have heating. All seats have heating, including the back seats. We also have heating on the steering wheel. Biggity bam. What else we got? Of course, driver seat memory and front passenger seat memory we talked about. Driver easy entry, which makes the, the seat get lower and the driver steering wheel raise up so it's easier to get in and out. Passenger also has the same thing. All right, internal comfort. So we have fragrance. Right now I only have one fragrance in, but you can put up to three in and different fragrances so you can choose which one you like. And you can do it mild or strong. It smells okay. I usually keep it off because I get a headache from too much fragrance. And then also, again, more standard stuff. You have your air filter lifespan indicator. Just had it changed when uh, we wrecked the car a little while ago and they repaired everything. They changed the air filter. All right, and then you got uh, your driving modes. This can also be changed just with the, uh, without going into the menus, just a tap of an actual physical button. Um, but for here we have comfort, we have eco, sport, and custom. If you wanna see a comparison, there you go. Okay, oops. All right, and you have snow mode, hill descent control, all this stuff. Now one new feature that's very similar to Tesla that they just added on this new update, this beta test, is auto activation for parking, auto hold. So when you come up to a red light or a, you know, a place where you need to stop, the car will just stop and hold its place. You don't need to physically do anything. Previously, you had to really press down hard on the brake and then it would auto hold. Um, but now you just let off the, the brake essentially when you stop and, and it'll hold. A lot of other stuff, side mirrors, auto fold, all this stuff, very standard stuff. So we'll keep going. Driver assist, another very good feature of the Neo that I really enjoy is all the different uh, driver assist settings. So if you're like laying, uh, leaving the lane on accident, maybe drifting, or you're switching lanes without using your t turn signal, you can choose either just the sound, which is a beep. You can choose a vibration in your steering wheel that'll vibrate, give you some force feedback, let you know you're drifting, or you can do sound plus vibration. So again, a lot of customization options in the Neo. You can also set the sensitivity to low, medium, and high. Uh, and then we have lane change assist, we have uh, blind spot detection. So if somebody's passing you from very quickly from behind, uh, it will notify you and warn you that somebody's coming up from the rear. Um, and again, you have lights, lights and sounds, vibration and lights, or sound, vibration, and light. 
and the light is just uh, an indicator in the heads up display in the dashboard over here so easy and also you have also the light on the side mirrors so lots of very cool safety features to let you know when you're about to crash so I have navigate on pilot that's the neo autopilot you can turn signal stock you can if I want to change lanes when I'm doing autopilot I can indicate with the turn signal myself or the car can do it by itself if I turn that on um, so then I don't have to indicate I want to change lanes the car will just automatically do it of course the car will indicate it will turn on the blinker and it will change lanes when it's safe but you don't have to do it yourself um, you also have you know all this other standard stuff front collision warning auto emergency brake stuff that will protect you in the case of an emergency you can also summon the car using your app so when turned on you can move the vehicle in or out of a parking space on the neo app when you're outside of the vehicle so if it's hard to get into the car of course you can pull it out have it pull forward and you can get in the car easily we're almost done here no me one cool feature they enable with Nomi now is that previously when you spoke to Nomi, she would have to respond first. So you would say, hi, Nomi, and then she would say, hello, hi. So now you can just talk to her without waiting for her to respond. My Nomi is called Lei Feng, so I'm going to talk to Nomi right now. Ni hao, Lei Feng. Ching da kai chuang ko. Chuang hu. Chuang hu? Oh, there we go. So previously you would have to wait for her to respond to you, and now you can just talk to her like a normal person. So that's with continuous dialogue with Nomi, and that's part of this new beta test. All right, what else we got? Display, cool feature, dark and light. Previously, we only had dark mode. Uh, I don't like light mode. I just keep it on dark all the time. Um, but there you go. There's light mode. And we're going to go back to dark. Perfect. OK. Sound, we already did some of the sound with the speakers. Um, again, we have the pedestrian warning system. Um, you have gear shift sound when you push the drive or reverse, it makes a beep. Speed dependent volume control, you speed up, it gets louder. Everything you, standard, you don't need to go through all this. We have our data, Bluetooth, everything. Security, safe box, DVR, general, biggity bam, biggity bam. Okay, so that's that main menu. And we're almost done with this, guys couple more things on the home screen we have these little widgets here so you can see the time you can see what's connected that's my my telephone my mobile phone see the weather you can see all this information about your car uh, again estimated remaining mileage all that stuff you can change your music what's connected Bluetooth music okay whoa okay couple more things and then we're out of here okay so again, all that's in English now. Um, one cool thing I want to show you guys is with the th 360 camera that they added. So this is our 360 camera. Here, now we have a dynamic transparent chassis. So in normal times, previously, you always have, you can see the car. You cannot see through the car. Just a normal 360 camera. So again, one of the coolest new features that I'm really happy with is the dynamic transparent chassis, which is uh, very similar to what you have on the Hi-Fi X, if you remember watching me drive that car. And if you haven't seen that one, then please take a look. I don't even know if I can get out of here. So check this. So it uses the camera, the vision sensor, sensors to make a transparent chassis. So if you saw it before, it was completely solid car. And now you can see through the car. And I don't know if I can get out of here. Oh, I got you. Let's see if this man on his tricycle is gonna get out of my way. He can't go backwards. Oh, you old poor man. There's a guy moving the garbage. Okay, we made it. Okay, so in a parking lot, you don't really necessarily need the dynamic transparent chassis here. However, if you're on a bumpy road, you're going off-roading, uh, you're in just a countryside road in China, 
then it's really useful because you can see and you can avoid huge potholes and any problems in the road. So that's really cool. So I don't know, if, can you see this? So we go over that, that uh, manhole cover right there. You can see right through the car. So that's a brand new feature and I like that. Tiny little parking lot. And we made it. So that is a very quick, hopefully useful run through of the English language operating system that is currently in beta on the NEO in China. So again, if you're looking forward to buying a NEO car when they launch in 2022 in your country or in the future, this is probably very similar to what you're gonna get. So I hope that's very useful and uh, thank you for watching. And there's one more thing now I'm gonna show you. So goodbye and keep watching. Bye bye, happy new year. All right, so this is version 2.0 power swap and the brand new operating system with English. So it's my first time swapping in English. We'll see if there's anything interesting happening here at all. Probably nothing, probably exactly the same. I feel bad for this guy right here. He's gotta sit here and watch. That's his job, just stand there. <laughs> Easy, hey. I feel bad for my dog too, she's so stressed out. Hey. Preparing this may take some time. Please wait. You know me speaking English now too. That's new. Easy, please be quiet. This time, the vehicle may shake and make noise. This is normal. Do not open any door. Shift gears. Repress the brake pedal. All right. You all right? Go easy. Good time. Almost back. <clears throat> okay, la. Oh, okay, yeah. Power swap complete. Current battery level ninety three percent. And we're off. Maybe, ma. Bye-bye. Very easy. Not the dog easy. <laughs>